finished. Three hours, 19 minutes. PR'd almost 30, around 30 minutes since the last marathon, 11 weeks ago. 2023 Dallas BMW Marathon. I knew going into this race, a lot of things were gonna be different from my last race. I had a plan and I was prepared. So when we started out, there were a lot of people. This big corral, way bigger than Fort Smith, my last marathon. First five kilometers, sub 24 on pace, ready to go. Now nutrition throughout, I took five gels. I took them every four miles and I actually incorporated one more gel towards the end that I picked up along the course. I drank water, I drank Gatorade throughout. Everything was on point. I could not have had a better nutrition strategy for this race. Did see a snowman. Now when we started off, I had a plan. It was to keep an aerobic heart rate for the majority of the first five, six miles, first 10K. Just hit six miles, sub 45 minutes. Feeling strong. I'm gonna try to ease it back a little bit. The 315 pace group was right around the same area I was. I felt good. My times were hitting sub 7, 7.30, 720 minute per miles. I decided I was gonna hang with the 315 pace group as long as I could, because I felt at their pace, I could keep that and I knew the real race didn't start until mile 20. I did have to stop one time, which I anticipated to go number one. But what I did is I sped up for about a quarter mile before I knew I was gonna stop, went to the bathroom, got back on, and caught back up to that 315 group relatively quickly. 15K, 109.45. Sport Smith prepared me tremendously for the Dallas course. So there were a few hills throughout, but nothing close to what was up in Fort Smith, Arkansas, 11 weeks prior. Half marathon, I knew I needed to be under one hour and 45 minutes. Just hit half marathon. I was significantly ahead of that. 137, 38, new PR for that. Let's keep it going through the second half. There were a lot of things about this course that I love. There are a lot of things about this race that I love. There were so many people, there were so many signs, so much motivation. It just made the miles click by like this. When we got to mile 20, I knew this is when the race is starting. Just hit 20 miles. This is when the race starts. Let's finish strong. From mile 20 to mile 26.2, I anticipated to negative split increase my speed. The atmosphere was unbelievable. I was already going way faster than I anticipated the entire race. I was on track to hit three hours and 15 minutes. The goal was three hours and 30 minutes. Mile 22, I started slowing down a little bit. Still felt strong though. Mile 25, 26 were rough. I'll admit it. I was starting to feel the effort that I put forth the entire marathon. I was starting to fatigue. I kept on telling myself mentally, do not walk. If you do anything, do not walk. That's what I did. I kept around an eight minute, a little bit above eight minute pace towards the end for the last mile and the last point two. I came around the corner at the end and the time was counting up three hours, 18 minutes and I knew we were gonna hit three sub three hours and 20 minutes. I am unbelievably proud of myself and the effort that I put in through this race and the prep the 11 weeks leading up to it. I 
I'm super proud of all the effort that I put in in training and there were a lot of difficult days, but it paid off in the end. We finished three hours, 19 minutes. I'll do a full recap video, but PR at almost 30, around 30 minutes since the last marathon, 11 weeks ago. Came what we set out to do, we got after it. Thank you guys for your support. That's the Dallas BMW marathon.